Whether you're going to be away from home for just a couple of nights, or you're going away on holidays for a week or two, and you're entertaining the idea of sleeping in your car, it can be a daunting thought at first. Or maybe sleeping in your car isn't your choice. It's becoming all too common these days. I get it. You might feel like nobody cares about you, and sleeping in your car is the scariest and worst thing that could ever happen. But you know what? People do care, and sleeping in your car isn't actually nearly as bad as it sounds. We're gonna make it work. It's gonna be okay. Don't worry. All right, let's dive in. Welcome to Sweller and Dweller. As far as sleeping in the car, I think you've got three choices. You can recline in the front seat, or you can sleep across the back seat, or you can extend yourself into the trunk or hatchback by lowering the rear seat back. Sleeping reclined in the front seat, <laughs> I mean, it's just not that comfortable. It's kind of like, you know, can you hack it? Even though it reclines, it's not going to go flat, and it's kind of wavy, so it's just not comfortable. If you've ever had an overnight flight and had to sleep in an airplane, it's kind of like that. You might be able to do it for a night or two, but it's not going to be comfortable, and you're kind of going to be trashed. You're not going to get a restful sleep. So if you're only looking at a night or two, you might be able to make this work, but it's just not the best. Let's try to find a better way. It can help if you use a sleeping pad or mattress to kind of even out the unevenness, but it's still not ideal. Option number two, sleeping across the back seat, is what I tend to choose because I can make it work best for me. Now I'm 5'8", and this allows me to lay flat with my legs bent, which actually isn't as uncomfortable as it sounds because I often sleep this way in a full bed anyways. And you can sleep on your side, pointing your knees towards the front seats, but if you want to turn over, well, your knees are going to be pointing into the back seat, so that won't work. But there's a trick. You just flip over so that your head is on the opposite side of the car, and then you can point your legs in the opposite direction. You just gotta be willing to move around. Depending on your car, there's other things you can do. Like in this Sandero, I find that I can raise my legs and perch them on the windowsill here, and that's actually pretty comfortable and lets me extend my legs further than if I just lay them on the seat. Now, if you're much taller than 5'9", the taller you get, the more progressively difficult it is going to be to sleep across the back seat because you just won't be able to fit your torso in lying flat. You'll just have to test it out, but if you're too tall, you're going to have to find another solution. Now the biggest issue to sleeping across the back seat, to a much lesser extent than the front seat, is that the seat is just not flat. And you got these seat belts in the way, it's just not comfortable. But my friends, there is a way to improve this like a thousand percent. It makes an enormous difference. What you do is you lay a sleeping pad across the back seat. Now you have to be careful. You probably can't use an air mattress because they're going to be too long. I have an older sleeping pad and the advantage of this is you can fold it over to tailor it to the exact width of the car for a perfect fit. This sleeping pad evens out the seat completely and removes the seat belt attachments from the equation. It's just pure comfort. And it really does make an enormous difference. All the difference in the world. For me, it's an absolute game changer as far as being able to sleep comfortably in the car for many nights. Now, if you wanna get real fancy, it also helps if you don't just lay the sleeping pad on the back seat, but position it so that it's mostly on the seat, but also partially extending onto the backrest. This seems to create a bit of a cradle that cups your body and is super comfortable. Now, obviously I'm gonna be in a sleeping bag normally, but here I just wanna show you my body positioning without the sleeping bag in the way, so you can see how the body positioning actually looks. So here you can see my head is against the door and my legs are bent. 
And as mentioned, that doesn't really bother me because I often sleep that way in a full-size bed anyways. This allows you to sleep on your side or facing upwards with your knees pointing towards the roof. As mentioned, there's other creative things you can do to extend your legs more fully, like resting them on the windowsill or resting them against the top of the seat back of the front seat. Or you could even lower the front seat and then lay them across that. It really depends on the kind of car you have, how big you are, how far the seats come back. There's a lot of variables. You just gotta play around with it. The other thing to get a good night's sleep I need is a pillow. And because I'm flying internationally, I just don't, I don't have enough room to carry a pillow. So what I do is I try to make things double duty. I take my neck pillow that I'd normally use on an airplane and I use it when I'm sleeping in my car and it works just fine. The final option that might work best for taller people is to lower the back seat and extend your legs into the trunk space. However, the biggest problem with this is in most cars, the back seat does not go flat and there's also a huge uneven ridge created between the top of the back seat and the floor of the trunk. But if you can find a way to even this out, it just might work for you. Now in some cars, they're designed awesome and the back seat goes totally flat and there's no ridge between that and the floor of the trunk. These are ideal. Now obviously, if you've got some tools and some know-how and access to lumber, you can do a whole lot more, like building a little platform that extends into the trunk, even raised off the floor so that you can have storage underneath. There's lots of options. But if you, for some reason, can't build anything, then the ideas in this video should hopefully be enough to make things as comfortable as possible for you. Another thing is, if you're worried about or having trouble sleeping in because the sunshine wakes you up in the morning, if you've got your window coverings to the point where you're okay with the security aspect of it, don't bust yourself trying to block out every last bit of light. I've seen people spend hours trying to do this. There's a so much easier solution. Just get yourself an eye mask. Oh, oh, I know, I can hear it already. But, but Sweller, I can't have this eye mask on my face. It's gonna drive me crazy. You know what's gonna drive you crazy? Is waking up early every morning because the sun is shining into your car. Trust me, after you wear a mask for a couple of nights, you won't even notice it's there. And you know what? You're gonna sleep like a kitten. <coughs> well, maybe not like a kitten. But we can't do anything about your snoring. That's a, that's a whole other video, my friends. Now, if you want to know how living in this rental car while traveling through Argentina actually worked out for me, subscribe to a passport a dollar. It's free, and the adventure starts soon.